Hi and welcome to uh, Chick Cast number five. Um, I am joined here today by a good friend of mine, um, Plutonium OD, as you're most known online. But I usually call you Gavin or Gab. You do so. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank um, you for inviting me. There, um, I, I like to have guests. Uh, first, before I do anything, I need to give some shout outs to my patrons. So I have two now. So one of them is your very good self. So thank you for your um, patronage, and it will go a long way. And my other one is for Tim. Um, thank you very much, Tim, for your uh, contributions to the channel. Um, I do have a Patreon, and there's a link in the description. Go check it out. Um, any help is you know it's greatly appreciated and it does go back into my channel to give uh, better content for you guys so today is kind of very similar to how I did uh, I think it was episode 3 with my last guest um, High Fleet Horror um, that was a very fun uh, evening so it's gonna be pretty much the same uh, with you so I've got some questions written down here but the, the thing is, I probably will will, uh, will wander a little bit. So um, I think maybe I should ask you. Uh, you obviously are a Warhammer Forty Thousand yes. fan. I certainly you am. Know, are you a super yeah. fan, even. Quite, yeah. Uh, um, I'm probably uh, my level of, of fan mm. is is insane. <laughs> Yeah, not quite there yet. <laughs> uh, so, um, what? How did you find out about Warhammer? Like your story? Um, well, I've, I've always been into um, sort of fantasy and sci-fi mainly. Uh, still, ever since a very young age, uh, and I think I found um, miniatures. I think it was Grenadier Games miniatures when I was about eight years old, and eventually found Games Workshop, and never looked back. Oh, that's, that's fantastic! So you you are quite an old schooler oh, yeah, when it comes old, yes. to uh, the the game. Yeah, I am old, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a deal. That's just that's the point. Out, you know, I'm I, you know I'm I'm getting a little bit closer to forty, so my experiences are from sort of second yeah. edition, uh, uh, early to mid nineties. Um, so that's great. What do you? What's your armies? What do you? What did you? Uh, or maybe like, what you used to play? What you play now? Yeah. Well, my main or one paint. is Space Marines. Yeah. I know it's a, I know a it's Space a, Marine. A, player? Yes. Oh, a cliche. Oh. Uh, but I, you know, obviously when when um, Rogue Trader was first came out, I uh, I got the RTB01 box. And yes, I've seen the content of that. Yes. Yeah. I think I probably have about three boxes of those. Uh, also, the shop where I used to buy was there was no Warhammer in um, Lincoln at the time, so it was a little mini market shop. We used to go in there, and they had uh, the kits broken down in little baskets on the um, on the counter. So that's that's where you know you buy one Space Marine. Uh, that's where it all started. And well, I remember those. They were quite. Yeah. They were. Um, the plastic was, was very. Yeah. Yeah. Was it white or grey? Uh, um, there was. There was. Or creamy colour. Actually, dark blue with the first dark one. Blue, yeah, dark okay. blue, okay. So you would have remembered like the old dreadnoughts, like the Contempt oh, yes. and the Fury, yeah. the Fury Bundus. Yeah, yeah. Those old yeah. robots, and they had um, it's awful robots trying to glue that thing together. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I, I think, I think most people wouldn't recognise them uh, now. Their weapons, like missile launchers and bolters and things, are very, yeah, are very yeah. different. Mm. Um, I can recommend the YouTube channel uh, Leaky Cheese. Um, I know him quite well on Twitter. He does a lot of retro hammer, yeah. and he's covered some of these, uh, some of the old school models. So very interesting channel. Um, plug for myself, you know, in the in the the description, and also uh, just um, here, Chick Paint. So you will find me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, sorry, I, I plug myself. Because um, I'm, inter I'm interviewing myself yeah. essentially, so um, yeah, I know what you mean. I, mm. I I grew up in quite a small village, and the next town, yeah, you know, I was I was quite away from an actual GW. Um, so the, my nearest large town had a uh, a toy shop, yeah. and they used to have just like random uh, models. Mm. I remember buying a a metal. Catachan with a I have a cigar in his mouth holding like a, a bolter. Do you remember that? In a, yes, it was on a belt. Yeah, and I had random things in my collection like um, 
I had an elder jet bike. Actually, I had uh, the Harlequins, the first, you know, the box set of the Harlequins. Wow. I've had, I had loads of things. I had the Orc sets, the Harlequins, Terminator set. That was a real good box. Uh, I've still got all those. Uh, they were what I first saw. Yeah. Uh, the um, the Terminator with a targeter in his hand. Mm. Must have been the missile. It was the cyclone. Yeah, yeah the cyclone yeah. guy. I saw that. The, he was missing the cyclone, but it had the guy with the, the targeter and yeah. like the, li the little weird shaped storm bolter. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first. That yeah. was the first model I ever mm. saw of Warhammer in the early nineties. Yeah. That I thought, wow, that's really cool. And then, uh, then my friend said, yeah, the the magazine White Dwarf has, you know, yeah. all pictures and battle reports, and I really loved the old school um, White Dwarf. So, um, what? Yeah, what is? What do you paint? Like you said, Space Marines. What yeah. exactly? Is some some details. Oh, uh, well, Ultramarines. Uh I know it's a, that is definitely you, a cliche. I'm an ultramarine. Oh, well, we'll yes. have to shake, shake yes. hands. Our ultramarines yes. do. Welcome to the uh, chapter, brother. And I will knock my microphone about a gazillion. I always knock my. If I don't knock it once, that's something um, I'm doing it wrong. Um, ultramarines. So, awesome. What company? Fifth. Fifth company. Yes. Oh. Only because they're black. They black. Yeah, the yes. black trim. Yeah. Yeah. So if people don't don't know if you're new. Um, you know, Space Marine chapters, as they're called, they each have. A company, so they have first company and second and third, and, and as and they're donated by a color. So I do third company, so they're red. So the um, the on the armor on the trim of the shoulder pads are red, and the banners and things have red. And for you, they for the fifth company, they are black. black yes. Yeah. So they donate their color with mm -hmm. with numbers and yeah. with uh, color, and you can personalize them. But you know you can stick to that as per the canon so to speak and the codex and stuff we can make your own and, and make it up there is no yeah. i like that's something i like about the the game mm. the, the the system is that there is room to make up your own space marine chapter yeah. and their own color and you can make up lore i mean i you know i do i do do a codex army but i still make up fluff for for them, yeah, you, you know, to. you've got to put backstory to them. I like a backstory. Yeah, you know, I, I'm I've created some uh, Primaris company veterans, and they don't mm -hmm. actually exist. Right, but I've kind of invented that in my head. Uh, I find that quite interesting. Yes. Uh, so, um, what what is so past and present? What mm. is your favourite model? I have to say, it's a Leviathan dreadnought. It's it's, it's beautiful, amazing, isn't it? Yes. It's a lovely kit. So chunky and it's looks so. Meaning. It's how I think personally a yeah. dreadnought should yes. look like. You, yeah. you get the boxy stuff and they look cool. I, I like the Castafari and I like yeah. the Contemptor too, but the Leviathan is just a big, like brutish mm -hmm. kind yeah. of. It looks like it would head but a bloody tie tie yeah. into dead. If you know, that'd be awesome. Um, what? So that's your favourite. Yeah. So I have to ask, what mm -hmm. is your least favourite? Like, uh, say, uh, something you've painted that you just went, yeah. oh, that was just a nightmare. There's a lot, a lot of the metal miniatures you used to paint were, some of them were awful to paint. They were but some of, A lot of them were brilliant to paint, I like. Yeah, I've still got a lot of the metal ones, and still use them in Kill Team. It's, it's a good good excuse to bring them out of the air, the cupboard. But some of them were just awful, especially the, the old Grey Knights. The original ones were horrible to paint. They're so fiddly like, de like detail and yeah, stuff diddly, like yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, the, the detail on the on the armour panels it was horrible it's sometimes you you, whatever you painted on it it filled up yeah it's, it's difficult to pick it out yeah. because you're right you would go over it with a colour and it would just swamp it and then you can't you can't see it mm. um, so I guess you uh, you do play 40k I do a little bit yeah not probably yeah. not as much as I should do yeah, yeah. Um, you've obviously it's, played. Getting get into a club is the, uh, the difficult thing. Obviously. Yeah, you should have some friends who play it. That'd, should, be, that'd, be, yeah, that'd, that'd be brilliant. Be brilliant. Yeah. Uh, but when you do play, obviously, I guess you mm -hmm. bring out your your ultramarines. I do. Or, yes, yeah. Yeah. Do you I'm have any? Oh no, I've got some of my own chapter as well. They, yes. they often come out occasionally. I was going to ask so, yes. you, yeah, do you have oh, anything yeah. other than ultramarines? I do. Yeah. So the uh, the shadow hornets. That's your, that's, that's your own. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good example yes. of of the fact that you can make up yeah. your own chapter yeah. and your own law mm -hmm. and yeah. your own yeah. name for com you know uh, chapter master and and uh, then uh, and what have you. Um, 
And I guess, like most people, you have kind of multiple armies oh, yeah. or things yeah. you've just bought and you don't yeah. quite know got, why. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, got, got some Admech uh, hiding away. Got uh, knights, a house hawk shroud. They're mostly painted. I think these need hawk shroud, sticky. are they the green ones? Yellow. Yellow? Yeah. Yes, they're yellow. nice. They are paint yellow. Yeah, they're, ni they're nice. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Mm. Um, do you... Um, like say future plans, mm. is there any is there any model you'd want to have? Yeah, I'm gonna get a big tank, or two. The super heavy tanks. Maybe not the super heavy to start with. Maybe you want the big what, up, the, What would you look? Yeah. What like a Repulsa or uh, a, a yeah, Sakaran or yeah. something? Some yeah. Forge World -y stuff. Forge World. Okay. You like Forge World? Good. Me, yes. we both are in the same vein of yeah. liking Forge World. <laughs> I've got a few kits beside me that are. That you can confirm, yeah. <laughs> Forge World. Yeah. Um, so, um, if if you could have any model that you want, say something you you would you've seen. I know mm. there are sort of there are things in in stories and lore that aren't a yeah. thing, but they are in in material, you know, in, mm -hmm. in books and stuff. Yeah. I'm just asking, thinking that question myself. I'm thinking. Hmm, I don't know. There is that Primaris flag the called Overlord. the Overlord, yeah, and we, it's that. been described as bigger than a Thunderhawk gunship, yeah. so that would be massive. Like, uh, like the Tau Manta. Mm -hmm. The Tau have a large um, f you know, a ship, spaceship flyer called the Manta, and it is it's huge. It's huge, a massive resin model, and it's, it costs like three grand or something ridiculous. Yeah. And so it's, it's very large, and uh, yeah, I, mm. I can't imagine that you would really get a chance no. to, to game with that. Not even the apocalypse you'd really get yeah. out, would you? Yeah, it's so big you can fit a couple of yeah. tanks in there and about a hundred fire warriors. I like I like the um, the so-called pattern Stormbird. You could fit you can fit mm. a couple of rhinos in there. Yes. Yeah, I think that's quite neat. And you can actually you can physically do that as well. Yeah, that's eight hundred pounds, isn't it? That one. It's very yes, yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's very expensive. Lump. It's a big. It is a big mm. model. It's a it, it, I like that it does fit. It's a bit like when you have, uh, like, you know, you get like a vehicle like this, a Rhino, and it can take ten Space Marines, but they couldn't really get inside physically it, no. get inside of it. It's very, it's, it's interesting. Um, so, do you um, have any other hobby interests outside of, uh, yeah, yeah, 40K? Uh, PC gaming, uh, Xbox gaming. Are you a bit of a gamer? Yes, a yes. little bit, yes. I'm going to guess one of your games you play is Battlefield 5. Oh, how did you guess that? Oh, because I play it as well. Really? Oh, yes, I do. That's surprising, Yes, it? you can. I do love Battlefield 5, especially, uh, yeah, I like the flying, I like the, I, I like the planes and the, uh, the boys and your tank rifle yeah. is, is dirty. Um, yeah, one hit kills. Um, so, um, it's but thank you for coming on. Um, I've asked you kind of like the questions I've got written mm -hmm. down. Maybe I should just put that to one side and now we can just talk random stuff. Yeah, okay. um, what do you think of 8th edition? Oh, I actually really enjoy it actually. It's Is there a yeah, lot, lot, quick, lot quicker than... Just, they say quicker. Um, well, but it still takes four hours to play a but game, then but again, just, it seems quicker. You're not sitting around as long. But when I play against my friends, I think an hour or two is gaming and the rest of it is just messing probably, about yeah, and gabbering. Probably, yeah, yeah I, I like it too. Um, uh, we've got some rumours of some more Primaris models coming out soon, so a um, an actual Primaris transport. We've seen mm. like very grainy images yeah. of that. There's a new type of Redemptor Dreadnought. Looks like it might mm. be a bit like a dread knight that you can mm. just climb you don't need to be you know mortally Dead. wounded to, to pilot it i've seen the um multi-part kit for the shadow spear infiltrators mm. so i guess so shadow spear was the last big box set it came out in march to introduce the uh the vanguard primaris marines and then the new um some new chaos models and i'm sure that's being uh split but but then Having said that, you know the Dark Imperium box set that came out to launch Eighth Edition. You know, it's been over two years, and yes. they, you know, there's still models in it you can't buy. There is, yeah. Individually, 
Oh, unless you eBay it, and then yeah. it costs uh, an absolute fortune. Uh, so, given you know you've been in the hobby for a long time. Yeah, I've had about fifteen to thirteen, fifteen years off in the middle. Yeah, I find that a lot of people tend to have a like a gap. And life they, gets in the way. Yeah, and, and then they get back into yeah, it later. Old people later. It's don't not hang around with a nerd, so you go, well, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'll put it, put that in the loft. It's yeah. it's nice to be an adult and you can do this yeah. hobby because you can appreciate it more and you yeah. can you can do just you know you can you're not saving yeah. up your pocket money to no, buy a just, unit. No, you just go and work for an extra couple of hours. Yeah, and then you go to you go and find out that Ford's World have a shop. Yeah, and then you then just go, wow. Okay, I'm Mr. Bank a... Manager, can you give me another mortgage? Yeah, but you've seen Warhammer from past. Yeah, and you've seen it from present mm. and I, I don't know about you but I th it's so different it's worlds apart it's, I mean it's I mean like a completely different hobby almost just four years ago the the uh, interaction with the with Games Workshop and us mm. it's just insane they actually listen yes they listen to what we want and um, yeah and they sort the game out unlike 7th edition where we had like quite mm. a lot of bad rules and, and some good rules yeah. and things that are a bit broken and they all they did was nothing make it worse mm -hmm. at least now they're kind of yeah they actually listen, they've got a way of fixing things rather than just go sticking plaster over everything yeah it's, let's just make it that yeah. right add more guns I, yeah i mean i do feel like they are doing that in some aspects like the new repulsor tank is, is gorgeous and i mm. like it but for two years we've been saying we actually want a transport and their response is here's another tank mm, with yeah. a big gun on it but I'm sure we'll get another wave very soon mm. I would imagine maybe I don't know is there any big events coming up soon yeah I think so so they'll probably might yeah, we'll... showcase anything new Primaris mm. uh, yeah and it, someone has to tell Games Workshop other factions are available. Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, I know Chaos are getting some. Not for a while, have we? We Did haven't. You? We haven't. Mm. Maybe my my uh, store birthday. I think they've already got that um, that guy with the chainsword and yeah. But he's not a lieutenant, is he? Is he a sergeant? He's the guy who's got the the, the yeah. chainsword in an orc's head. Yes, we've seen some pictures. Yeah, he must be a sergeant. Yeah, mm. I think he is a sergeant. Yeah. Um, I quite like the Primaris models. Um, they can be a bit bland, which is yeah. why I've I've changed some of them a little bit. Um, so I plan on doing a gallery. So I'm gonna. I have already. I've asked the community. I've asked my followers to give me their best painted models, and I'm gonna do uh, a video. Maybe once a month, I'll just do a a video of people's models I will credit you and put your name on the screen and then you can show off your skills um, I think that's something yeah. I would like to do and I will plan on having uh, more guests so I should have another friend on uh, soonish for uh, more chip casts plus a friend um, do you have any more to add this is your interview with my guest so <laughs> Uh, take the reins. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I uh, forgot about Adeptus Titanicus, didn't we? Oh gosh, yeah, that's that something. Amazing I, game. That's something I would forget. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't you? And it's like, oh yeah, I play that as well. Mm. Yes, we both like Titanicus. Yes. It's a, uh, so if you're not if you're not familiar, it's um, you know, big. We have big titans like a wall or titan and, and stuff like that. It's been squashed down into a smaller game, and we can collect them and they can fight. And it's a very good game. So Adeptus Titanicus, it's um, well, game, Games Workshop does it, but Forge World does some of the models and yeah, the rules. I think it's becoming more of a specialist game, isn't it? It is a niche. It's in, it's a niche game mm. within a niche game, but it is fun, and I've enjoyed it. We've had some games. Yeah. Um, you've beaten me. Um, only the once. Only the once, mm. but it's. Yeah, we played twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I usually whenever I give <laughs> whenever I give someone a demo, I always tend to lose. But it's a fun game either way because you get to use 
just titans. I love it when they explode yes. and they go nuclear, and then take everything else and everything out, else <laughs> just blows up next to it. I think that's um, that's it's fun and funny. Yeah, yeah, and then um, perhaps some future videos I might uh, focus on just that. Um, that's some ideas. I've been asked to do some videos regarding uh, Forge World resin, um, how to how to work with it and use it because resin Forge World in itself is a specialist uh, hot. So mm -hmm. it's it's a it's modelling aimed at the more advanced um, hobbyists. So I will plan on doing some videos around around those. So because it, it, it can seem a little bit daunting. But it's it's not once you understand the the simple yeah, ins and outs, it's 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 pretty easy to to do. Um, I think that is everything for today. Um, thank you for being my guest. Thank you. So again, plutonium, OD or AKA Gav, you've been a uh, a, a awesome guest. Um, I will probably have you come on again yeah. so i do you know you guys at home or people viewing or my patrons uh you you know you can come on um i will do things like video links uh you know skype and whatnot um but there's nothing quite like having someone physically next to me and i can you know i quite like this so um it, that is something that i am offering for patreon is that at a higher tier you can come on but again, it's not something you have to pay. If if I like you and you're and uh, you know you, you're an int interesting person, then you know pop for in. sure pop in and uh, I'll make you a very weak cup of tea, <laughs> and you can come and be on the show. Uh, but there's details in the description below on my other social media, um, and I think we are done. We're done. Okay. Well, thanks yeah. for. Uh, Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to uh, watch this video, and I will see you. Oh God, I'm whacking stuff. Yeah, hopefully in in a, in a bit that it won't be quite as cramped in here. No. And I'll, I've got a, a backdrop. I'm using a door and a flag. I will have a proper backdrop, and things will look a little bit more professional. But saying that on that bombshell, I will catch you guys um, in the next chick cast, um, and have a good day.